I'm Joe Hart. And I'm Brittany Healy. And we are Pixlinger. We'd like to introduce you to ourselves, our company, and our products. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Hart, and I helped develop the Pixlinger with Brina. I've been teaching at the Banking School of Music for years. I've been teaching just everywhere for almost 30 years. I've been playing guitar and bass professionally for 35, 40 years. I've toured the US. I've played with a lot of people. Uh, Joe Stump, amazing shred guitar player. Uh, I've shared stages with people like Uli John Roth, uh, Paul Gilbert, Robbie Krieger from The Doors, members of Heart. I've written some books. I've recorded a bunch of music. I write all kinds of things. But today, I'm here to talk about the Pixlinger. Hi, I'm Brina Healy, and I am the director and the patent holder for the Pixlinger. I've always had a fascination with nuts and bolts and hardware. Um, I always MacGyvered things as a kid, and I like tinkering. My first product that I developed in 1967, I took an electric drill and I put a piece of wire in the front of it. I grabbed a carriage wheel, a hockey stick, and a piece of wood, and I made a contraption and ran around the backyard cutting grass with my electric drill. Turned into the weed whacker. For years and years, I was too embarrassed to go to the patent and see who held the patent because it might have been my science teacher. In 1990, I received my first patent for a musical device, which was the guitar belt. This is great for guitarists that are jumping around on stage with a nine pound less fall for an hour. It gets pretty heavy on your shoulder. So they appreciate having the weight on their waist rather than over their shoulder. Two years ago in January of 2016, I had a moment of motivation and I said, I have the concept for another musical device, so why don't I get on the uh, progress and see what I can do. So I took a piece of elect gray electrical conduit, a piece of copper wire, a tube, and I made a large pick out of a plastic tub from, I think, a Doritos can. And I made the rudimentary model for the Pixlinger to test out the concept to see if something like this would work. Over the last two years, with the help of Joe Hart, Clinton Lurvey, and dozens of local musicians, I don't know how many samples we've passed out, we've come to the point where the Pixlinger now is attractive, it works well, it's reliable, it's comfortable to wear, and musicians love it. We hope you like the product, and we hope you like our website. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Brina. We would like to demonstrate the Pixlinger. So, I love the food guitar. You can sling the pick in and out of your grip. You never have to put it down, never have to lose it. Uh, you can use it for tapping, so I can do and then slick, <coughs> sling the pick right into place, and I have it for uh, the chords, whatever I need the pick for. And for bass, I love using it for different dynamics. I can play the choruses with the pick for a little bit louder, more aggressive sound, and verses and bridges, things like that, with fingers. So I can play with fingers and then sling the pick right into place. And choruses, a little bit louder. Uh, I love the dynamics, you never have to put the pick down, and I really can't think of any other way to do it in a live situation than having the pick slinger. The pick slinger is adjustable, it fits every player, it's made extra long to fit every finger, and the length of the product is adjustable to fit every player. Now, this is how flexible the pick stays with the pick slinger. This is just a bar straw. So you can see the pick going back and forth. There's almost no tension on the pick at all. So the pick tip is everywhere you want it to be, consistently and confidently. It only takes up five inches by 20 inches on your music wall, and it fits left-hand and right-handed players. Joe likes to use different picks. So he has a metal pick here for one. And our adhesive leg adapter fits any pick. Now keep in mind the concept, we're not taking your pick away. We're giving you a new alternative. And that's the pick slinger. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Brina. 
and we'd like to demonstrate for you in this video the Pixlinger Elite. Joe? Okay, I love the Elite. It's a little bit smaller than the original and it has just the exact same convenience and pick control and tip control and everything. So I can go from tapping right into really loud chords. Uh, as aggressive as you need to be for bass, I like the Elite because I can go from slapping and popping right to using a pick and then right back to slapping and popping again. And then sling it right back in and I have more pick playing, different parts of songs, uh, bass solos, this is awesome. And of course, people always afterwards ask me what it is and I get to tell them all about the pick slinger. Big Sling has been through a lot of development and it is, once again, it fits every player. You can adjust the length of the adjustable arm here. You can set the pick angle by putting the pick onto the adhesive adapter in any different direction. And you can adjust the length in and out of the pick by adjusting the length of the adhesive adapter. So one size fits every player, left hand, right hand, and adjust six ways, you can get it to sit on the tip of your index finger confidently and conveniently time after time. Pick after pick and sling after sling. The Pick Slinger Elite also, take off one of the little parts here, it will morph into the Pick Slinger Nano. And this is as small as you'll ever get with a pick, look at that. It's in and out with the confidence and the reliability of the Pixlinger Elite and the original Pixlinger. It's so small, you don't even know it's there. You've got your pick when you need it, and it's out of the way when you don't. And that's the Pixlinger Elite and the Pixlinger Nano. Thank you. Here is the Pixlinger and the Pixlinger Elite. The Pixlinger Elite morphs into the Pixlinger Nano smallest pick holder on the market. There you have it.